I'll be showing you an easy and simple way to shade your drawings in Krita. If you enjoy digital painting and would like to learn more, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to not miss any of my videos. My name's Rexel, I'm a professional concept artist and illustrator for video games, and I've been using this technique for a bunch of my projects now. There's a lot of benefits while working this way, namely, colors are way easier to work with, and you don't have to think about um, individual colors per se. So say you have a blue ball here and you want to make it a red ball, you can quickly do that and change the color of this to a red ball and suddenly it will, it will be shaded accordingly. So um, it's very flexible like that. Another one is you'll get consistent results as you can see here. So they kind of have the same um, general shading style and it works for all the different colors. And I'll show some examples of my work here. So um, I've done the same thing over here. You can see how that looks really consistent with this one and like the other examples I've made. And they all follow this um, same basic layer structure. Another benefit is you're dividing the shading process into individual steps or more so individual layers. However, there is one big con with this or like a downside and it's um, major redraws will always be a pain. Change the pose of this character, change the hairstyle, anything that involves um, redoing or redrawing the line art will involve in changing all of the other layers that you have. So that's only the major downside. So um, if you want to do this, you'll need to be a bit committed to the line art that you've made and make sure that any changes that you're going to do later on isn't going to be drastic. Real quick, what subjects do you draw in Krita? Let me know down in the comments. Now let's go back to the lesson and we're going to start with trying to come up with our own um, shader ball here and I'll walk you through the steps of um, adding each layer and uh, what each layer does. So I have two layers right now. I have the flats which is this color and I have the line art. So now I'm gonna add uh, a new layer and I'm gonna clip this to the um, previous layer. So clipping mask works a, a little bit differently in Krita. Um, in Krita it's called alpha inheritance but um, what it does is it's kind of like a bandwagon friend so here this is um, this is the bandwagon layer and this will be his friend so when we turn this on and we click this what happens is um, it's kind of like um, you're going out and this guy won't show up if this guy doesn't come so this guy won't show up without his friend but his friend will always come you understand so if we turn that off first and we draw over here you see that um, he's making his own pixels but if we turn it on alpha inheritance you see that um, all these red pixels around the circle are gone because he's only gonna show up when his friend shows up so that's um, that's one way of thinking about alpha inheritance so we're gonna erase that and we're gonna go with instead of normal we're gonna put it to multiply right we're gonna add um some sort of grayish color like somewhere around here and you can see what effect that does to this ball so we're just gonna make a shadow like that but you can see um uh, this looks kind of dead like the brown here doesn't look that good so we're gonna make it a bit uh, we're gonna add a bit of color to it so instead of pure gray we're gonna add a bit of red so something like that then there i think that's a much better color so now we have our shadow layer next we're gonna add our glow layer uh, to understand what glow layer is you have to think about how light works first so let's go to blender and check that out here so if we zoom in you can see that the top area is like really bright but um, as you go down it becomes darker and darker so even though this um this plane is similar to this plane it's not as bright as the one on top because um the planes on top 
is much near to the light source which is somewhere around here so if it's near to the light source it's gonna be brighter but as it goes and moves further away downward um, it's gonna receive less intense light and even though this is lit by the same light source um, since it's farther away it's going to be less bright than the nearer ones so to simulate that we're gonna add an overlay layer so over here instead of normal we're gonna go to overlay what overlay does is whatever's in the middle whatever's um 50 percent gray nothing will happen so i'll show it to you so let's draw like a 50 percent gray here see nothing really happens or um the change is so subtle so let's make it a bit lighter and like you can barely see it here in the ball right but you can see it a bit on the background uh, however if you make it like this kind of gray so like a bright gray you can see that it's brightening up the layers below but if we make it 25% dark gray that's gonna darken the layers below so if it's above 50% it's gonna brighten it's if it's below 50% it's gonna darken so what we can do is also we can turn on alpha inheritance so that's this button right here turn that on then we're gonna add some sort of highlight on the top and some sort of shadow on the bottom so <clears throat> we can use the grays for now so we're gonna add a bit of gray on top so something like that and we're gonna add the dark gray on the bottom and that's the before and after but since we did that um the brighter area so uh, the area around here um doesn't have the same amount of color as before so it's kind of desaturated because of that. That's why whenever I use overlay, I want to use a bit of a bit of color. Um, whenever I choose these two colors, like the the ones on top and the one on the bottom. So instead of um, a light gray and a dark gray, let's erase that. I'm gonna use a light yellow, so something like this. I think that's okay. Then for the bottom one, we can use a bit of a dark blue but not too saturated if it's too saturated it will completely change the color which we don't really want we, we only want to um influence the color a bit so we're gonna make that something like this so before after and the great thing about this is um if you think that the effect that you're adding to the image is too strong you can always dial back down uh, which gives it more like flexibility whenever you're working on these so after adding the overlay let's label these layers so this is the shadow and this is the glow after that we're gonna add our highlight and for our highlights we're gonna choose we're gonna choose instead of multiply we're gonna use screen it's kind of it kind of works uh, opposite to multiply instead of darkening things um you're gonna brighten it so since for the shadows we use this kind of color so like a grayish red so we used uh 50 gray but we made it a bit reddish um, instead of that um, we can use a bit of a bit of yellow instead but we can keep it at 50 percent gray and see how that looks so at 50 percent gray it doesn't show up much let's make it brighter there we go so i'm gonna make this a bit brighter yellow and add it here so we have our highlight after that we're gonna add our secondary light source which could be a rim light or just um, a pop of color on the side it's similar to what we have here so here this is a three point lighting setup there's and there's going to be a backlight or just some secondary light. so we want to achieve this kind of effect and to do that we need to go back to Krita and add rim light so this can work uh, in two ways one is you can either use screen or you can use normal depends depends on you you can either <clears throat> you can either use screen or normal depends on you um, normal you would need to manually paint it in we also need to turn on um, alpha inheritance for both of these so when i draw it doesn't go outside the house so if i want to say um, make a blue one like a blue secondary light i need to draw it like this but um i can just use a screen and it would kind of have this the same effect so i'm just gonna add some 
something like that place it a bit after that we're gonna use um color dodge and we're gonna add bloom so this is green this is going to be color dodge so we can so we can see so we're gonna choose color dodge and um, we're gonna add some sort of um bloom effect uh on the highlights of the image so you're gonna get your um, soft brush right and i'm gonna grease over this area to make it glow a bit let's use a more saturated color instead of that one as you can see if i grease over this area it's gonna like really make it pop and like make the colors really vibrant and really bright we don't necessarily want that we just want to have a subtle effect so we're just gonna lightly go over this and also this one but instead of this color instead of this color we're gonna use a bit of um, the same color that we have right here so we're gonna have a yellowish color and make it a bit more saturated so something like this so there if we do it one by one so we have our flats then after that we add a multiply uh, multiply layer as our shadow layer then we added our glow which is an overlay layer then we added a highlight which is a screen layer and we added a rim light which is a screen layer again and we added our bloom which is a color dodge layer you can also use a screen for this as you can see it kind of has the same effect so, but color dodge is makes the makes the colors a bit more vibrant compared to screen as you can see so that's it i'm just gonna show you some more examples i've done using this method on my other work so here i've made this character um and i've also I, i've also organized the layer so you can um kind of see what's going on so i'll turn these off first so we have our base color our flats layer we're gonna turn on our line art then um i didn't really talk about this earlier but um, in these character uh, drawings i added a blush layer using overlay and if we see if we isolate that it's just a purplish color um added around like the corners like the elbows and hands and knees around the bony areas and also the cheeks then after that i added a shadow layer so i just added some cast shadows and by the way you don't you don't necessarily need to make it make the shadows this sharp um, of course you can you have your own style and you can make your shadows a bit softer so something like this <clears throat> or you can make the shadows softer instead of what i'm doing here since this is more of a, a comic look um, so you're not um, limited to this kind of look when you're doing this so it applies to lots of different styles and we're gonna add our glow and this glow adds so much to the drawing that um without it uh it looks so different it adds that really subtle like glow here on the image and makes it like the spotlight is really making you concentrate on the face instead of everywhere else we add our highlights then we add another layer of highlights so you can do this multiple times say one layer doesn't really isn't really as flexible as you want you can add another one so here these are screen layers or easy dodge easy dodge and screens similar they basically do the same thing and um, I've just separated the other highlights to be on a different layer and after that I added our rim light and also our glow that subtle glow effect that you don't really see for the curl one line art so this is the diffuse color like i'm just gonna change the flats layer and i added my blush the skin glow the cast shadow then the highlights then the rim light same thing here though i didn't really organize my layers here and i've deleted some of them but you can still see that i've added some um blush on the skin on the side and added this cast shadow and added some textures as well then here same thing i have my flats layer then i had my shadow layer but i added also like a separate pass of like manual painting so i painted this part and i've only added the shadow layer on top of that then the line art then the red light 
So that's it for today's video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and let me know your thoughts down here in the comment section. And thanks for watching.